My iPhone is my second brain. Wait, wait, hold on, let me explain that. An iPhone has a neural engine built in, so it indexing everything you do, everything you create and so on on your phone. So by using, for example, Spotlight Search, by uh, taking your finger down on the home screen, you can do a search there. There you can find everything you have done, everything you have created, everything you have uh, stored and saved on your phone and every information about you that the neural engine learns it stays on the phone so it's total privacy total security so all the things that the phone the iphone learns about you is stored only on your phone and never is sent to the internet or another server. So for example, if I do a spotlight search for free NAS, I'm uh, very interested in free NAS. I have a free NAS made of an old computer. It's your own network attached storage you can do with a free operating system called free NAS. So I am very interested in FreeNAS. So if I do a spotlight search for FreeNAS, I can see everything I have created and read and done on my phone about FreeNAS. So every task management task I have, every to do, every note and so on about FreeNAS, it comes up in a spotlight spotlight search so incredibly easy to do and there is a lot of different systems out there called second brain create a dig digital second brain and so on using different apps like notion evernote and so on and it's nothing wrong about that because that is also stored and indexed on your iphone so that will also show up in spotlight search for example so every app you use and you allow it to have siri uh, suggestions and siri shortcuts and all that then it got indexed by uh, the spotlight search and the neural engine so you can find everything uh, every data stored in those apps also in the spotlight search on your iphone so you need to go into the settings of every app and choose to have siri index everything about that app because then they will show up in uh, the spotlight search when doing a search and the neural engine can use that data to learn everything about you and so on and again it's total private total privacy here so nothing is sent to apple when you're using the neural engine because that is a built-in chip in the iphone and it only uses the ship and the data on the phone itself but of course when you do a spotlight search you also get some recommendations and uh, suggestions and so on from the internet and icloud and all that too in the same search so you can choose uh, for example a google search or a duck duck go search and get results about that you search for also from spotlight search and you can uh, uh, find stuff you have in iCloud and all that so you have everything in a neat uh, result page when using spotlight search on your iPhone and I use drafts for example for my task management my GTD system getting things done and so on and uh, a note-taking app and all that so I have a lot of stuff stored in drafts for me so uh, everything I do in drafts and store in drafts and uh, make done and all the to-dos I have and so on is indexed by the neural engine so I will find that forever so if I have a lot of stuff in the reference category for example in drafts I can found, find that by doing a spotlight search for for example uh, the movie Lone Survivor for example uh, I can search for that and can see my 
comments about that I've wrote, written and so on. And I can see links to the movie and some quotes and some facts about that movie I have stored on the phone as an example. And uh, I'm a lot into journaling. I use the day one app. I have used that for seven or eight years now. So I have a lot of data stored in day one journaling app. I have uh, some real end-to-end -end encrypted journaling there. So I have a lot of stuff stored, but I have allowed the neural engine to index my journals. So this stuff also shows up in the spotlight search on your iPhone. So uh, all that data is also available to search by using a spotlight search. So you have everything in a very neat result page with everything about that you searches for so it works so so great actually and of course you have all your photos available the memories apple creates from your photos and so on they show up when doing a spotlight search you can search for a city for example and have a lot of photos show up from that city and uh, you can have all your emails indexed by the neural engine. You can have all your messages and so on. So everything you have done as you started your uh, Apple account really and with the new neural engine index um, search engine, you have everything you have done completely searchable on your phone. And that is what I mean with a second brain. Instead of using a, a special system and pay a lot of money for it and so on, you already have a second brain by using your iPhone actually, because the neural engine is so good. So it has already indexed you and your life. So you can uh, have all the memories there. You don't need to remember all the stuff you have done and all the uh, different things to do stuff and so on because you can do a search and find it immediately. So for example, uh, a search for how you do a screenshot on your Mac, for example. I have a reference for that in drafts and I have uh, an a note in the Apple Notes app and so on about how I do a screenshot on a Mac in Swedish though, but I am Swedish, so that's why it's Swedish search result for that. And uh, it's so easy to just uh, type screenshot in the Spotlight search and all the results for how to do a screenshot shows up on your phone immediately without using internet actually. And of course you can have a lot of other stuff, how you do stuff and so on. So on. It's a complete knowledge base, your phone. Your iPhone is a second brain for everything you need to remember and everything you want to have for uh, a later purpose. For example, doing a reset of a Sonos uh, speaker, for example. You don't need to search Google every time to, to see how you do a reset of a Sonos speaker. You can just do a note in drafts and on how you do a so uh, how you do a reset of a Suno speaker and it shows up in the spotlight search because neural engine has uh, indexed that note on your phone and of course you have all your contacts and so on on your iPhone and they are also searchable by spotlight search and you don't need to remember any phone numbers and so on because you have them already on your phone. So that's why the iPhone is an excellent second brain. And the neural engine uses all the app data to index all the app data you create and have in all the apps. And of course the apps need to support um, the neural engine and Siri suggestions and indexing by the spotlight search and so on. But if the app supports that, you have all that data available immediately while doing a simple search, you have it ready on your phone immediately. And I really love to have a second brain in my pocket uh, with my iPhone because it helps me focus on other tasks I need to do and other things I need to remember really. So everything I have on my mind, every thought I have, every 
uh, idea and so on, I store on my phone because then I know that it gets indexed by the neural engine chip in my iPhone so I can find it later when I need it. So start letting your iPhone index everything about you. It's totally safe and totally privacy. So start using your iPhone as a second brain. You won't regret it. Okay, bye.